The other day, I went to... Where did I go? I was out and about, yeah? I went to Hackney. I went for a little bike ride. You know, I've got my new bike now. Um, I, I'll go out for rides and stuff and listen to new music and put albums on full blast. Not one ear, not one headphone out, doing the damn thing. Obviously, it's just a single speed. I'm actually going to switch it to a fixed. Um, the other next, well, yeah, soon actually, when I go and get it repaired, I'm going to switch it to a fixed and then have it that way. But I'm riding, you know what I mean, I'm riding dirty. I'm doing the damn thing. I was having a good time enjoying myself out there. And I happened to be near Hackney Central, about to go cross the road in order to go to a train station, right? Because at that time, unfortunately, I had, a, I had a puncture, so I couldn't ride my bike home. So I had to jump on the overground to go home. And I was waiting at the traffic lights to cross over to go to Hackney Central Station. I saw this, a really amazing, cool-looking dude rap, jump up or pull up to the, to the traffic lights in something that you don't see too often in London, right? And it was a chopper. Right, a chopper motorbike, something that I'm only familiar with after watching Sons of Anarchy and having that time period after Sons of Anarchy where, like most guys, I think out there, or gals as well, where you are super interested in balls deep with motorbikes and cafe races and choppers and all that sort of malarkey. I was looking at so many... I remember there was actually a blog spot, I forgot the name of it, It had these amazing, really cool black and white pictures. If anyone knows the name of it, please put a link down below. And I think the guy, you know, he's got like friends around the place. He takes these really amazing SLR pictures of his friends riding these amazing bikes all across america going to fairs picking up stuff in vintage shops like a really cool blog but anyway i was balls deep in it balls deep in that balls deep in biker gangs just checking out all the stuff so the only reason why i even know what a chopper is and can kind of spot it and know what a narrow head chopper is in terms of the bars and that's what this this guy pulled up in he put up in a chopper with a narrow head which is basically like really narrow handlebars which i'm guessing would improve the uh maneuverability and mobility of a bike i'll assume um but it looks amazing, right? Pulls up this amazing long chopper, massive bars, the super, super narrow handlebars. And then guess what he was wearing? He was also wearing these Supreme and Dr. Martin boots or these new shoes that they put out, right? From the, uh, the 1461, I'm thinking, is that what it is? I'm pretty sure I worked at Dr. Martin's. I should know this before. Is it 1461? It's free. Is it? Does it say the model? No, it doesn't say the model. Okay, they just say here on the news bit that Supreme has worked with Dr. Martin's on a new version of the Free Eye shoe, which I'm pretty sure is a 1461. It should be. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's different because it's got a thinner sole and pointed the front. Regardless, Supreme put out a, a Dr. Martin's collaboration recently which I saw on the news and, you know, on my email blast when Supreme emails come through. And I wasn't that impressed. Don't get me wrong. The lifestyle shots are pretty decent because they've always been pretty great. In the last few years, Supreme's lifestyle shots have really improved um, in terms of like want, making you want the things. But overall, the design was a bit over, uh, underwhelming. Essentially, it's a free lace kind of derby boot with a spider kind of eyelet motif. Oh, it's not eyelet, actually. It's stitched. Okay, my bad. At first, I thought it was um, the dots that you get, the perforations from like an Air Force One done in the spider. But actually, when you zoom in, it's actually a stitch done of a spider web on the toe box. And then they've got an all black um, midsole and outsole. There's no white foxing strip around it. All black laces with some nice premium sort of leather on the upper but just classic smooth leather nothing too crazy right and everyone's wearing them in the shoots the funny thing about this having worked in dr martin's and actually worn dr martin's for a very long period in my life they aren't that comfortable as models make them seem out in shoots whenever they put them on you always feel like they're making them look like they're air force ones or wallabies but they're not at all they're really uncomfortable they hurt your feet they make you bleed but after you get through that period they become absolute plimsolls because every nook and cranny of your foot it gets embedded and burned into that leather over a period of time but when you first get them, it's hell on earth. And then, of course, the black ones with the stitch as well, which I think is what the guy was wearing, um, black with the white stitching. And also, what's, no, what's the other colorway here? So it's black and red only, okay? I don't know, is it only black and red? Okay, interesting colorways. But anyway, pretty nice. Oh, no, he actually, that's it. He's wearing the whites. I'm pretty sure he had the white pair on. He had the white ones with the, with the, with the what you call it, with the spider web and the toe box. So initially, I saw these on my email blast and I thought, this is a bit crap. They're a bit underwhelming. Didn't really make too much off of it. Then I saw this guy wearing them with his chopper looking amazing. And guess what he was also wearing? He was also wearing this Supreme Fresher uh, Bomber jacket, right? I think it's like, yeah, is it Bomber? 
this jacket, another jacket that I didn't really care for when it came out, I think in like 2021 or something like that, if I'm not mistaken, maybe 2020. This Supreme Fresher collaboration, right? It's like a satin jacket that came out. Oh no, 2027, sorry, 2021, long ago. So he was wearing this jacket. So I'm pretty sure this guy's definitely connected with Supreme in some way, shape or form because he had a Dr. Martin boots on the day they were released in the middle of the day before they even released in the shops. And he definitely had one of these jackets on. So probably someone associated with the, with the crew or with the team. And immediately... Him having this jacket on and those flipping white uh, Supreme, you know, free eye shoes immediately made them, made me want them. And it kind of goes back to what I've said plenty of times here on this podcast that I don't know why most brands or more brands don't do more lifestyle type things in terms of shoots and stuff that aren't just a typical thing of like some model jumping in the air, doing the whole toe thing, wearing pin rolls, the foot in the water and all this sort of nonsense or just really poorly laced shoes, you know, taken in a one a white backdrop. No, actually give it to people and actually let them use it in situ. And I think that's one of the things that you have to give Supreme credit for. I think even their vans, I forgot what collection was, a few, maybe a few ones before, they had a couple of models wearing the vans that they had collaborations with and they were clearly worn, clearly these skaters or people that skate for the supreme team had clearly worn these for a period of time before they did the shoot and they were still doing the shoot with the shoes on so it gave you an idea of what the shoe looks like once it gets to wearing them but it actually made you want them because you immediately are like oh that kid's cool i want to be cool too so i'm going to buy those shoes which is essentially what i saw when that when that guy pulled up to the traffic lights on his chopper wearing a satin jacket that i didn't care for right the last satin jacket that i cared for for supreme was the one that i actually sold satin because it was fake unfortunately I, I, I didn't know but i used to buy a real one of them but they're really expensive rosa jacket i should have known them anyway but the pace one thing to know if you go if you accidentally buy fake stuff you can buy fake stuff if you want but obviously no it's fake but if you don't want to buy fake if you want to buy real stuff a good a good rule of thumb is if it's under the you know the general retail price that everyone is selling it for it's probably fake and i thought i, I had a bargain i thought i found something i thought i kind of like you know that did something that no one else did and obviously it proved that to be fake but this is a jacket that I, I had before but my one was obviously not as good quality as this but the last satin jacket that i wanted for supreme that was of that level so the last satin jacket that i liked was this from 2013 right this jacket obviously in that color was absolutely godly um i actually think i wanted both at the time but i ended up choosing the navy one just because you know it looks so swaggy and sexy you know back in the day look at the weekend dropping it but yeah it's really really nice jacket right that's the last one i wanted and i saw the fresher one because you know supreme do loads of stuff with fresher every mostly it feels like every season similar to like carhartt and i didn't really think too much of it then you see someone pulling up to traffic lights on the chopper wearing one of these satin jackets and you're like wow i need this straight away and i wish more brands would take that and use kind of you know friends in their little you know usually if you're a brand usually you know you got cool friends you're trying to create a world anyway that you might even have an avatar of the customer that you want to attract why not go out there and actually commission some pictures from people who are actually living a life and doing cool things and get them to take the pictures because it actually makes stuff look cooler because for whatever reason i didn't actually like these when they were taken you know even though the, the picture is quite good and you know everyone's wearing them is obviously quite cool looking but you, know, you see it in real life and you're like whoa this kid's on a chopper wearing those flipping white dr martin's looking absolutely amazing and then instantly i want them so that's just why i wanted to point out more brands need to start doing more lifestyle shots with people who actually are cool in real life as opposed to people on the internet and as opposed to doing those tippy toe nonsense sneaker and footwear shots that i absolutely hate